Hello crazy fam, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Tori and I have one other piercing video, but I've never done one where I went over like all of the piercings that I have, how painful it was, where they are, do I have any tips, any you know recommendations or things that I should have done mm. differently, and I figured we would do that today. Now, I figured I would work my way down my body and we'll start with the top piercings and end with the bottom piercing. And I am eating a piece of cheese because I was getting a little snacky and I meant to finish it before I started, but I didn't, so hold on, just give me a moment eating cheese. I like cheese. So the point is, my top piercings are going to be, I do not have all my piercings in right now, but I will still go over them. So my top piercings are gonna be my cartilage piercings. I have two different cartilage piercings for a total of three holes. I have a standard cartilage piercing and I got that in high school. I got it done at a tattoo shop. And I would definitely say my number one recommendation when it comes to piercings is I don't care where it is on your body, go to a tattoo or piercing shop do not go to the mall, do not go to some random booth where they use a gun. So a piercing gun basically shatters all of the surrounding areas and a needle goes through it. So instead of shattering the area and making it rebuild itself, please, please, please get it done with a needle, buy a professional, not at a kiosk at the mall. I promise you will regret that because a lot of people have problems because of that. But I got this one in high school and I did get it pierced with a standard gauge and I stretched it to a belly button piercing size, which I believe is like, what, a 14 or a 16? What is a belly button? I totally forget. But either way, I stretched it. So it is a larger piercing. I did that so I could use the balls and the, um, whatchamacallit, the rods from a belly button piercing in that earring. And also it is the same gauge as my industrial bar. So I got the, actually, I think I got this one in middle school. I think I got this one in high school. I got them both the same tattoo shop and they actually have this like well, tattoo piercing shop. They had this like deal on Tuesdays. So they did discounting piercings. So I went there again for the next one. And that is my industrial bar. And it is two holes similar to this piercing, but they are on opposite sides. And I did get it pierced with the higher gauge. So I got it pierced with the same gauge as the belly button and the same one I stretched this to. So they would all be the same. And I do have to say that this piercing specifically on pain level, it honestly was not that bad. I would say obviously it's more than a like standard piercing down here, but I have a pretty high pain tolerance, so it didn't bother me that much. The one thing is like afterwards, it was a lot more um, pain and care than any other piercing I had before, which we'll go over my bottom ones in a second, but it was a lot more care and things I had to do. And what I did is I bought this spray and it is actually bug bite spray and like it's supposed to help you with the pain and then like itching from bug bites, like a pain relief spray. It was a, just a generic over the counter thing and they're like use it spray it spray it spray it and I gotta say get yourself one of those pain relief bug relief sprays because it is a godsend and then the other thing is obviously you'll probably be told by your piercer is that salt water is a very good thing for washing out that area and if you make it warm it's kind of more soothing as for this bad boy right here it was obviously more painful because it was pierced with a higher gauge, but in addition to the fact that it was pierced with a higher gauge, it is two holes, and one of my holes, it had trouble going through, so it was kind of one of those like, type of things, and that is not the most um, fun thing in the world, but other than that, I would say for anybody else without complications, this piercing really was the same level of pain as the other one, even though it was a higher gauge, so obviously a bigger needle is going through, and some of them will even pierce your, you at the same time, like they'll like, I don't know how they do it, but either way, this one is not bad at all. I have the original bar that I got pierced with. I haven't replaced, I've replaced the balls on them because half the time they just fall off. I definitely do not regret these ones at all. I think I've had plenty of professional jobs where it hasn't been a problem, mostly because I'm a girl and I can cover it with my hair. Though I do gotta say is some places will not allow you to have, especially the industrial bar, because it's a much more um, present piercing than this one is where it's one hole and I had no trouble with bumping. Obviously, it's one of those piercings that you have to clean a little bit more than this one. Of all piercings, the lowest maintenance piercing I have is this one right here. I am probably not that great about cleaning it, to be honest. And then my next lowest maintenance piercing is this one. The only thing is sometimes if you have like, um, like your ears peeling after being burned or just like general like earwax and peeling and stuff like that, it gets on that bar in between 
between. So the actual piercing piercing part doesn't get that dirty, but the rod in between does. Like, I don't know, stuff just gets on it. And I'm one of those people that forgets to wash my ear in the shower. But overall, these piercings, I probably don't clean them enough, but they definitely don't need to be cleaned as much as the piercings down here. So as for my piercings down on the bottom section, I have my first holes, which were my first ever piercings. And then on this side, I have more holes. I have my second and my third. So my second one I pierced myself and my third one I pierced myself and would I recommend it? No, I would not. I would not recommend it because I have a bump on the back of my ear that says why I wouldn't recommend it to you. As for pain level, I wouldn't say it was actually that painful to pierce myself and I think if I did it in a more um, professional manner than shoving a piercing earring into it, it probably would have gone better. So if you have the proper equipment and you are well aware of what you are doing, then maybe pierce it yourself and it won't be that bad. Me, on the other hand, my second hole has one hole in the front and two holes in the back. Don't know how that happened. At one point when I put the earring back in, it made its own hole in the back. And I hardly ever to never wear my second or third piercing. They might even be closed at this point. My bottom ones, I feel like they're never going to close. It's one of those things that you just have to shove it a little bit more than usual. But I never wear bottom earrings because you have to clean them so regularly. Like so, so regularly. And they get goopy and gross and smell weird. And I just like low maintenance. And bottom piercings are not low maintenance in my opinion. Especially if you want to keep the piercing in all the time, these are the go-tos. As for my third one, my third one went a little bit worse than my second one. Keep in mind, they were all doing great at first. Just, you know, stuff happened along the way, and one of those stuff happening was my third hole, which is kind of in the indent right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I have a bump on the back of my ear. And sometimes it happens with any piercing. I had a little bit of bump with this one too, probably to do with my lack of being good about cleaning. So again, guys, clean your piercings. But that bump went away. This third one did not, even when I took out the piercing, even when I was good about cleaning it. It's one of those things where I probably will have to have it surgically removed. That is what the person said for my next piercing would probably have to happen is that it would have to be like surgically just taken off, kind of similar to a wart. Yeah, kind of similar to a wart, kind of, you know. And so that is all of my piercings on my ears. Now, as for piercings that I've considered getting along the way, I've definitely considered at one point getting like the Marilyn Monroe piercing. I've considered getting my lip piercings. I've considered getting my, um, is that septum? Septum, the little spot in the middle, like bullhorn thing. And I like that one because you can flip it into the inside and kind of like hide it so it's not as obvious. But then I ended up never getting any of them, probably because I'm lazy, don't feel like spending money, and yeah. Those are probably my main factors in it. And then obviously when I was younger, when my parents wouldn't say yes to those things. So my mom was pretty flexible about stuff. Like I think I got this one in middle school before like anybody really had piercings. I got this one early in high school too. So a lot of my ear stuff is older, including the piercing myself ones are older. Now as for my last piercing as of right now, that is these bad boys are right here and they have a dedicated video to themselves. And that is my nipple piercings. Now, do I regret my nipple? piercings? No. Are they a little bit more maintenance than I would prefer and sometimes they get goopy? Yes. They actually like similar to your ear when it gets like that goop and sometimes you can push it out. Sometimes you'll get little like bubbles and you can like pop them. That sounds disgusting. But either way, they get a lot more goopy and disgusting. It's just, if I'm good about cleaning them in the shower, it's not usually a problem. As for pain level, on all of my piercings, I would say these were combined, like the fail hole, the one I had to get redone, like how to like push through it. I would say that was the same level of pain as my nipples were. And then I would say the like hole that didn't have trouble and this one were the same level. And they were obviously the least painful, most painful. And I don't even count these bad boys right here because it's just, I honestly got them done with a gun. Wouldn't recommend it, not kind of the ones I pierced myself. And those did not hurt at all. This one really, I would say it did not hurt. Realistically, it did not hurt any more than the gun did in my opinion. It was pretty quick, it was pretty easy. It was just afterwards a little bit more pain. But that's because like laying on it was a little bit more painful. And then as for my nipple piercings, it wasn't really a pain thing as much as, so what happened was basically the piercer said that my adrenaline started pumping and then when it got pierced, it crashed. 
So what happens when your adrenaline rush like crashes, like it's like your blood sugar dropping type of thing. And I felt like, whoa, I don't feel so good. And I straight up almost puked on the tattoo artist's floor and I almost passed out, but it was all good because he had me sit in my chair, gave me a soda, made me feel better just to stay where you are. And overall, it was not bad at all. Honestly, the recovery time on these were a lot easier than the other ones. But if you want any more information on more details on my nipple piercings, my experience, my tips, my tricks, all that other information, then I will link that video down below and you're welcome to check it out. And that is all of my piercings so far. Now, if you have any ideas on what piercings I should get next, because I might be doing more, I'm not against getting more piercings. It's definitely been in consideration for me. Let me know down in the comments what piercings you have, what ones you like, what ones you don't so I don't get them. And I will probably do a video coming up soon where I talk about my tattoos. So instead of an all piercings video, it'll be an all tattoos video. And I definitely got some um, stories to go along with that. Dude, one of my tattoos didn't even last for two weeks. Yeah, but we'll talk about that. But I'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam if you haven't already. I post new videos every single Wednesday and a lot of my videos are kind of helping people figure out adulting, everything from apartment hunting, dating life, sex life, what else do I do? Finance stuff, I do so much stuff. So stay tuned and feel free to watch my old videos and have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you crazy fam. I'll see you soon.